everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria Montefusco and I'm a lover of all things when it comes to fragrance, makeup, and beauty, and all that fun stuff. And today I'm going to be doing another like indie fragrance house first impressions. Woo, extravaganza, woo. So I have fragrances from a lot of different indie fragrance houses, um, including Firene and Nuit Cobalt and um, Stereoplasm and Solstice Scents, a ton of different stuff. So, and Alchemia, like I have a lot. I have like 10 fragrances here to try today. And I'm gonna be having some more indie <laughs> fragrance house videos too. So if you enjoy this content, there's more to come. But yeah, I just wanna try these fragrances. I ordered them off of Reddit. Um, there's a lot of really amazing subreddits that are focused on fragrances and indie fragrances and swapping and selling like indie fragrances, whether they're full size or travel sizes or decants or samples or whatever. So yeah, I got these off of um, Reddit, paid via PayPal, they shipped to me. It was super, super easy. So if you all want to hear some first impressions on these scents, most if not all of them are gourmands or gourmand leaning, then yeah, please keep on watching. All right, I'm going in literally no particular order. I'm just pulling what is in front of me. So the first one I have is by Nuit Cobalt. This one's called Malarkey. This one is supposed to smell like bread pudding. So the kind of notes that are in here include white bread, salted butter, vanilla custard, nutmeg, cinnamon. So this completely sounds up my alley. I love a good gourmand. I love smelling like dessert, like a snack, etc., etc. So I'm excited. Let's give it a try. And most, if not all of these, by the way, are perfume oils, which means that they don't really have alcohol in them. They're just the actual oils. So like, it's really good if you have perfume oils to like rub it into your skin because it like makes the scent last longer. I have found that perfume, perfume oils, excuse me, blah, 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 last freaking forever on my skin. So that's great too. The lasting power is phenomenal, at least on me. Um, and also like a lot of these indie brands just make really good like oils and stuff. But an important thing to note before I smell this one, I'm sorry for all the talking, is that if you do order these, um, especially like directly from a brand, you want to let them rest for like a week, two weeks, a month, however long you think is necessary because it really needs that time to like recover from shipping, to macerate a little bit, um, and just to like you know, be it's like true scent form. They always recommend that you rest them. So yeah, anyways, that's a big tangent. Let's try malarkey, let's smell it. The bread pudding. Yeah. <laughs> bread pudding vibes, what can I say? It's very custardy, very thick and rich. It smells like a vanilla custard. Am I getting these individual notes? No, not really. Like I'm not like, oh, that's the white bread and ooh, that's the butter. It's just like a very thick vanilla custard with a little bit of spice. It is lovely. Again, I've said this many times before. I personally like wearing desserty gourmands more in the fall and the winter time. But if you want to wear this during the spring and summer, you do you. But this to me is very much fall winter. It is lovely. I definitely want to try this one on my skin. I want to smell like bread pudding. I mean, who doesn't? So Malarkey, I think smells really, really nice. So next up is actually a fragrance that I did try on my skin. Um, so this is not a first impression. And this is from Stereoplasm. And this one is called Enjoy Your Waffles. This has notes of waffles, maple, maple syrup, orange juice, and flowers. So I've tried this, this lasting power. Again, it's phenomenal. It's a perfume oil. Um, I got this again off of Reddit. It comes in this little roller ball and my boyfriend didn't really like this one actually he says it smells like golden oreos which are those oreos that um uh have like the vanilla cookie instead of the chocolate one and i kind of agree with him i do think it smells good but it's not exactly what i was hoping for the orange note in here is extremely prominent especially when you first put it on your skin but you do smell maple i don't really smell like bready waffles but like it's a lot of orange and a lot of maple when you first smell it and then the more and more it dries down the more and more you're getting like a little bit of like powdery floral like this doesn't stay as gourmand as i would like it for as long as i would like it so i do like this fragrance i don't love it and my boyfriend does not like it because he thinks it smells like golden oreos so 
Yeah, the more and more it dries down, the more and more powdery florals you're getting. And I just want it to be a true gourmand throughout the fragrance. And I also want it to be more waffly and less like orange leading. So for that reason, I did enjoy the time that I wore it, but I don't think I'm really gonna keep this one um, just because it's not really what I was hoping, what I was expecting. And I want my perfume collection to be full of fragrances that I truly love and not just ones I think are meh, you know? All right, next we have this little fragrance sample right here. This is from a brand called Black Hearted Tart, and this fragrance is called Cups and Cakes. So this has notes of herbal tea, soft florals, and pistachio, raspberry, and coconut macarons. So I haven't really tried very many tea fragrances, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this one because I haven't really had much experience with it, but we'll give it a try. I love macarons, I love eating them. I've never tried baking them because they're very difficult to bake. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll give this a try. It's a little roller ball and we'll see what I think here. I'm not sure. Oh God, no. It, this is very much floral, 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 floral. So many florals. I know it says soft florals. Ugh, no, I do not really like florals. Eww, eww. Yeah, no, I don't smell any macarons. I just smell florals. I really hate that one. No, next. <laughs> All right, this next decant is from Alchemia, and this one is called Ambre Caramelise, Caramelez. So this has a description that says gourmand, amber, blanc, caramelized, with slow, seductive swirls of brown sugar. So that sounds lovely, amber and brown sugar. Like, how can you really go wrong with that? I'm not really sure. So let's give this one a try. This is weird. There's almost something like salty or like summery about this. This reminds me of like some of the more summery fragrances I have that have that like almost salty, aquatic y kind of vanilla ish vibe. I don't think I really like this one. Maybe it's the white amber that's giving me that, but I thought this was gonna be more like gourmand and like deep, dark, winter, edible, mmm. And this is giving me more like summer, a little bit aquatic and salty, like vanilla, like sunscreeny almost. It's almost sunscreeny. No, I do not like that. That is not for me. How weird. So next up, we have this fragrance from Firinae, Firinae, not sure how to pronounce it, it's spelled F-Y-R-I-N-N-A-E. And this one is called Serendipity. This smells like, I mean, this sounds like it's gonna be a vanilla dream. It says three rich vanillas sprinkled with raw sugar and a drop of sweet liqueur with cedar wood. So it sounds like sweet vanilla, a little bit woody and boozy. So we'll give it a try, it's a little roller ball. I like these little samples with the roller balls, that's cool. That is cloying, cloying. That is like straight up vanilla sugar. Like I love sweet stuff, but normally my sweet stuff has to have a little bit of something interesting, an extra going on with it, whether that's woodiness, whether that's spice, whether that's like booze. Like I can't normally do just straight sweet especially when it's cloying, this smells like butter, like straight up butter. It's like vanilla and butter. Ugh, no, I really do not like that one at all. That is not for me. No, no, no. All right, let's do another fear and scent. Maybe this one will be more up my speed. So again, it comes in this little bottle. And this one is called Arctic Foxes Having Cake. Ooh, this says it's angel food cake, various sweet kitchen scents and it has no spice to it. So we'll see what I think here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna think. Ooh, this one is leaking. Oh God, I have oil all over my fingers. Ah. Yeah, that, that sample is leaking, leaking. Hope I like it. This is the one I've been smelling like the whole time in my, <laughs> in my filming setup because it was leaking. This one's good. It's like vanilla, vanilla cake. I mean, it's fine. I think it's, I think it's good. 
maybe this would be like good to layer with because it's a little bit, you know, just like one-ish note. Yeah, it smells like a vanilla cake. I don't mind it. I would try it on my skin. Maybe it'll react a little bit differently with my skin chemistry, become a little bit more interesting, complex. I don't know. Maybe I'll enjoy it more on my skin. Yeah, this is very much like vanilla, angel food cake, vanilla frosting. Nom. <laughs> That's the vibe I'm getting. So yeah, that one's pretty good. Arctic Fox is having cake. It's a good scent, but it is leaking everywhere. All right, next up we have this fragrance from House of Glory. And this one is called Hazelnut Mocha. So it has notes of dark roast coffee, dark chocolate, and hazelnut cream. All things I really enjoy. My boyfriend, fun fact, is a hazelnut maniac. He loves hazelnut, like anything really, but especially like Nutella, like hazelnut chocolate bars, like all of that, he loves hazelnut. So I thought maybe if I wear this, we'll be like, ooh, you smell good, you know? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. This is taking me back to something I've smelled before, but I can't quite put my finger on it. This almost reminds me of being at my grandmother's house. Like when she, my, my grandmother is from Sicily. She's Sicilian. Um, I love her. <laughs> She's amazing. And uh, like whenever we visit her, like she always has like coffee, like espresso or coffee and um, like a dessert after dinner. It's like a thing that she does. I think a lot of like Italian Americans do it too. They love their espresso and they love their dessert. And so like normally she has like an Entenmann's coffee cake or like Ferrara Rocher's, like those little chocolates that are like in balls. Um, and she's always like drinking espresso. And that kind of smells like that memory. And I like it. <laughs> it's it, it, This doesn't have that chocolate note that I hate that smells like Tootsie Rolls. It's like so artificial, so powdery. Eh, I don't like that one. This has a chocolate note that I actually like that I think smells a bit more realistic and foodie and not so like fake. So yeah, this to me, it's very heavy on the coffee and hazelnut. But it smells like being at my grandma's house. And I miss her. She's still around, don't worry, but... Yeah, I just miss her, so it smells good. I like that one. All right, next up is a brand called Wild Ivy, and this fragrance is called Blackberry Lace. I believe this is actually a perfume spray. It's not a perfume oil because it does have alcohol listed in the notes, and it does look like more of a perfume perfume. So this has notes of vanilla and rum-soaked blackberries. Ooh, that sounds good. Pineapple, jasmine, strawberry leaves, apple peel, musk, and amber. This sounds like it's going to be pretty good. Let's give this one a try. We'll see. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't like it. It's very... It's very alcohol heavy. Mm-mm. You smell vanilla. You smell fruit. You definitely smell the jasmine. The fruit notes are just like almost artificial or like kind of like really smell artificial. I'm not really a fan of that one. No, it's way too like artificial fruit smelling to me. I don't, I don't really like that one. All right, next again from the same brand called Wild Ivy. It's another perfume spray. This one is called It's My Party, a good girl edition. So this to me sounds like it's gonna smell like a cake, but we'll see. Has notes of vanilla frosting, cotton candy, sugar citrus, sticky candy, and sugar musk. So let's give this one a try. Maybe this one will be more my vibe. I don't know. Ooh, that sprayer was like stuck. Again, no. Ugh, no. This smells cheap and like generic. I really don't want to say that because like all these brands are, you know, like indie brands. They're normally like, you know, one woman run or one man run to like a few people. You know, they're small businesses, but this smells generic. This almost smells like pink sugar by Aqualina to me, and I do not like that. No, 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 no. I really do not like that one. That one's not for me. All right, and the last scent we have is from Solstice Scents, and this one is called Corvin's Apple Fest. And this is a perfume. It's not an oil, I believe, 
So this has notes of apple pastries, fresh apples, caramel apples, warm apple cider, and vanilla. This sounds like apples, 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 apples. And I, I mean, this sounds like fall time to me. I love that. I love apple. I love apple pastries, apple strudel, apple everything. So this sounds lovely. Let's give this one a sniff. Mmm. Yeah, definitely getting apples. <laughs> Getting a lot of apples, getting a lot of like caramel, cinnamon, really the spices that go along with apple. This smells good. It, like some of the apples, like the apple notes kind of like crisp. And then the spices and the vanilla kind of give it that more gourmand touch. That is really nice. I'm definitely going to try that one on my skin as well. And this was a little roller ball. I think this is like one of their full sizes. So yeah, I like this one too. So that is it for the first impressions of these fragrances. So overall, I liked four of them. I'm gonna try four of them on my skin. Six of them were not for me. Some of them I just didn't think were my vibe. Some of them I clearly really did not like, but I have just really been enjoying supporting small businesses. I have been wearing indie makeup for a while now, but indie fragrances is something I'm just getting into. And I just really enjoy supporting these small businesses and trying out their products and seeing what unique kind of scents and scent combinations they can really come up with. So yeah, I really have been enjoying this. So that is it for today's video. If you like the video, please like the video. It helps out with YouTube algorithm. And it also helps me know what kinds of content you like to see on my channel. If you like me, please subscribe. I'd love to have you all here. And I post two to three videos per week, depending on my schedule and all of that. And if you have anything to comment down below, any comments on any of these fragrances, any fragrance recommendations, fragrance houses that I should try, whether they're a niche, indie, mainstream, whatever, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'd love to have a conversation with you all. And with that, thank you for spending part of your day with me and I will see you all next time. Bye.